The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Raw Van Dam. Rob Van Dam has come close to becoming World Heavyweight Champion on a couple of occasions, but he never got it done. One time thanks to Ric Flair and a sledgehammer. I remember that vividly. Ah, uh, close, but no cigar, Cole. But I have a feeling that tonight, Rob Van Dam is gonna be smoking a big cigar. This may be RVD's night. championship at Survivor Series. Yeah, this match should include Chris Jericho, and it would have if it wasn't for Scott Steiner. I thought you'd bring that up. You've become one big Chris Jericho butt kisser, I gotta tell you. What? Shawn Michaels had the will to win at Survivor Series. He had the belief that he could reach down into his soul and pull it off and beat anybody in that ring with him. And that's exactly what he did. He beat five other men. Yeah, but you have to admit, Cole, he had an advantage. He didn't have to enter that elimination chamber until very late in the match. He got to sit back and watch a lot of those guys literally beat the hell out of each other. Including Rob Van Dam, who was in that match from the get-go. of wills now we're live in charleston south carolina for monday night raw in this main event featuring Shawn michaels defending his newly won world heavyweight championship against rob van dam and if rob van dam can defeat michaels here tonight it would mark the first time ever that the world or wwe championship changed hands in the great state of south carolina like the momentum is reversed here. Yep, there's the reversal by Shawn Michaels. Rob Van Dam with the offense. Nice reversal there. <laughs> Drop kick. Talk about catching a beating. Shawn Michaels has been a controversial superstar here in WWE ever since the first day he arrived. And what about that little trick he pulled before this match even started when he went into Rob Van Dam's locker room and slapped the taste out of his mouth? That's mind games, King. That's good strategy from the veteran from San Antonio, Texas. Mind games? Yes. Controversial? Absolutely. I guess there still is some of the old HBK in Shawn Michaels. Oh, 
big DDT. Here's the moonsault. What athleticism. Oh, a reversal. Oh. He's putting those educated feet to good use. Shawn Michaels possesses an excellent ground game. Well, to be fair, there isn't much that Shawn's not great at. Shawn Michaels is 2-0 since returning to action back in August at SummerSlam. Yeah, you're right. HBK's record is unblemished since returning. But he certainly didn't look like a winner when he was being carted out of the arena on a stretcher at SummerSlam. Of course, King, referring to the post-match attack on Shawn Michaels at the hands of Triple H. Uh, and his trusty sledgehammer. Of course, that was one of the most brutal attacks I have ever seen. Well, I have to admit, this is a match I never thought I'd see. It's a dream match, King. It's almost like a fantasy. I don't think anybody ever thought they'd see Shawn Michaels versus Rob Van Dam in 2002. Yeah, I, like many others, just assume March 1998 marked the end of Shawn Michaels' storied career. I guess you can never count HBK out. Rob Van Dam won a triple threat match here live last week to become the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. And Booker T and Chris Jericho were the other two men in that match. And let's not forget Christian and Scott Steiner interjected themselves into the match. It was pure chaos. But when the smoke cleared, it was Rob Van Dam who walked away with tonight's title opportunity. Shawn Michaels became WWE's first ever Grand Slam champion when he won the European title back in September 1997. And after winning the World Heavyweight Championship at Survivor Series, we're going to have to come up with a new name. That's five different championships HBK has earned over the course of his WWE career. That was an impressive suplex. You hear how his leg connected? We talk a lot about Rob Van Dam's educated feet, but let's not forget Shawn Michaels has educated feet of his own with his sweet chin music. And that move has stopped some of the biggest names in our industry in their tracks, including Red Hart, Chris Jericho, and Triple H. He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. After then undisputed WWE champion. Well, that's it. There's the cover. He did it. The heartbreak kid wins the match. Oh, yes, indeed, Cole. HBK has done it again. What an incredible win. Shawn Michaels had the will to win at Survivor Series. He had the belief that he could reach down into his soul and pull it off and beat anybody in that ring with him. And that's exactly what he did. He beat five other men. Yeah, but you have to admit, Cole, he had an advantage. He didn't have to enter that elimination chamber until very late in the match. He got to sit back and watch a lot of those guys literally beat the hell out of each other. Including Rob Van Dam, who was in that match from the get-go. Squeezing down on the head. Rob Van Dam making a move. Shawn Michaels making a move. Squeezing down on the head. Rob Van Dam going for it. Hey, it looks like Rob Van Dam has got the momentum. 
Shawn Michaels became WWE's first ever Grand Slam champion when he won the European title back in September 1997. And after winning the World Heavyweight Championship and Survivor Series, we're going to have to come up with a new name. That's five different championships HBK has earned over the course of his WWE career. And there's the reversal. The Heartbreak Kid, so crafty in these types of matches. He's putting those educated feet to good use. and cracking from that backbreaker. And momentum has changed once again. Well, I have to admit, this is a match I never thought I'd see, ever. It's a dream match, King. It's almost like a fantasy. I don't think anybody ever thought they'd see Shawn Michaels versus Rob Van Dam in 2002. Yeah, I, like many others, just assume March 1998 marked the end of Shawn Michaels' storied career. I guess you can never count HBK out. Shawn Michaels is 2-0 since returning to action back in August at SummerSlam. Yeah, you're right. HBK's record is unblemished since returning. But he certainly didn't look like a winner when he was being carted out of the arena on a stretcher at SummerSlam. Of course, King, referring to the post-match attack on Shawn Michaels at the hands of Triple H. Uh, and his trusty sledgehammer. Of course, that was one of the most brutal attacks I have ever seen. Rob Van Dam won a triple threat match here live last week to become the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. And Booker T and Chris Jericho were the other two men in that match. And let's not forget Christian and Scott Steiner interjected themselves into the match. It was pure chaos. But when the smoke cleared, it was Rob Van Dam who walked away with tonight's title. Mm. Oh, my. He's not exactly popping up to his feet here. Well, what do you expect, Michael? Did you see what just happened? Rob Van Dam. Whoa! Five-star frog splash to the back of Shawn Michaels. Can Van Dam capitalize? All he's got to do is turn HBK over, and this should be it. Here we go. Van Dam into the cover. Hooks the leg. Who the heck? Hey! Triple H! What's Triple he H is here. Look out! Ruining this title match with a pedigree to Van Dam. Yeah, but you gotta know, this is not about Rob Van Dam. This is the vindictive Triple H going against Ho, oh. going after Shawn Michaels. Yeah, Triple H that has been obsessed with the heartbreak kid. Oh, now, wait a minute, put that down. What? Oh, this is not gonna be good. The game with that steel chair in the ring. And look at the way he's eyeing Shawn Michaels. He despises Shawn Michaels. He will not stop at anything until he ends Shawn Michaels' career. Shawn is down and out here. Oh, wait. Look at this. Michaels firing back. Big right hands to Triple H. Oh, right back to the midsection for the game. And now the game hammering away on Michaels. This is turning into a brawl here. And Michael's never given up, King. There's he's got the heart. He's got the guts. He's got the soul of a champion. Shawn Michaels just will not quit. But wait a minute. Look at how he right, right through the chair. Oh. When is this going to end?